Hey, Ryan here with Accelerate Marketing. Hope you're doing well. I am going to show you exactly how you can optimize your Google local service ad campaign so that you can get more leads than your competitors. I'm sure you want that. Google says directly in their instructions here about ad rankings, factors that can affect your rankings with Google local services. The three that, that are really the most important is reviews, response time, and proximity. So let me show you how we can affect these. Here's how you, you affect your response time. What you want to do is you want to move all of your leads from left to right, okay? You want to move them to either completed or archived. How do you do that, okay? So when you get a new caller, it'll be in the new status. And then when you're working the lead, it'll go into active here. So you can see that this particular account has two active calls, okay? And you can see here, you can show the recording, you can listen to it, but this lead has not been charged. What I would do is I would call this person back and see what they called about. They didn't leave a message, but still I would call them because here's the thing. You don't want a lot of people in the archive section because what that means to Google is that you're not really working your leads effectively. You want as few leads here in this archive section. Now it's okay to have a few like this one here. This is a um, auto dialer. You know, you can listen to it. You can hear it. It's just, it's just a junk call. And Google knows that. So they're not going to charge you for that. It's, it says, again, this lead has not been charged. You're not going to call that number back because you know it's just a, it's a junk lead. But what you need to do is you need to do something with these new and active leads. Either identify them as being booked or identify them some way, shape, or form that you're, you're working on them. You're doing something. Add notes. Add an email and a customer name if you get it, when you get it, okay? So you either archive them or mark them as booked, and that's what you want to do. That's how you move these leads through your funnel, so to speak. Okay, now this one, same thing. You know, this lead has not been charged. So this one has been charged, though. Um, you can see this this one, There's it's been charged because there was nothing identified here. It, there, it looked like it went to voicemail. You'll get charged for these if you don't identify them or move them into archived. I would call this person back as well, okay? And then see, you know, see what's going on. I mean, you got to call these people back no matter what. The goal is, is to get them to completed or get them to archived if they're not uh, good leads. Now, what you can do with this one is you can dispute it. You can dispute this call and say they didn't leave a message. The beauty of the system is, is you only pay for qualified leads. You don't pay for clicks and you don't pay up front. That's the beauty of this. So that's how you really want to work the response time strategy there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to reviews, and that's really the most important thing to, to actually get higher rankings here. Now, you've received reviews. These are all reviews that you've received from your Google My Business page, okay? But here's, here's two reviews or two people that are in the active status, so what they're saying is, is well, if they're active, you can ask for the, you can ask for a review. So you click on that that little um, link right there. If you have, they, obviously, you have to have the person's email address, their name, their job type, the service location, and then you got to confirm that they that the client agreed to receive this email, and then you send it to ask for a review. That's how you ask for reviews. That's I would do that with everybody that you can. That's here. Ask for reviews for everybody that you possibly can. Create those reviewable moments to get reviews. And then the other thing is, is, is the radius. This is what affects radius, is the areas that you serve, okay? You want to serve as big of an area as you possibly can. Now, if you're a service-based business and you have field representatives, then there's a strategy that we can implement where we actually leverage the uh, field reps as additional locations for your business, that will help you further actually rank in more areas because that's the key is, is if somebody searches from their phone over here on the map and somebody is serving that area, but you're not, you're over here, then they're not, you're not going to get the lead. But if you have a field rep that's over here and you, and, and we mark this as an area you serve, and it also identifies that he is, that you have a separate extra location there, then you're going to get that, you're going to get that lead. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. And remember, reviews, response time, and radius. Those are the three things that help you get more leads on Google local services. All right, thanks. Thanks.